There's St. Fecken's Church. Down there is the old mill pond, which is one of the wonders of four. A mill without a race. And then you come along and you see the Benedictine Monastery. There's also the tree where the wood won't burn. The water or the river that flows uphill and it has water that won't boil. And uh, the monastery is said to be built on a bog and that's one of the wonders that that it doesn't sink into the ground. And there's the old entrance gate to the to the town. So here I am I'm standing at the entrance of uh, St. Fecken's Church. This is a later building of this it was built in the, the 10th century on top of where St. Fecken had his church. But they have on this particular uh, entrance there's one of the seven wonders of fall. It's the anchorite stone. And if you look carefully you can see it's a Greek cross. It's a, uh, a symbol from Eastern Europe and uh, it's supposed to be one of the seven wonders. This is the lintel stone that was so heavy that the workers couldn't lift it into place and uh, it said that the workmen went for their lunch and St. Fecken came and prayed for the stone to be lifted over the, the archway and when the men came back from work it was in place so it's one of the miracles so one of the seven wonders of four that uh, this particular stone here was was lifted by prayer by the prayer of St. Fecken. So this is one of the seven wonders of four. There's a tree it was only said to have three branches but uh, looks like it's got a lot more than three branches at the moment. But a lot of people, uh, once again, come here and pray and they put on little trinkets and icons to ask for, for the prayers to be answered. And uh, apparently the wood from this tree won't burn. And uh, it's also the water seems this used to be a well and there was a tree growing in the middle of a well. And you probably, if you dig down there, Far enough, you'll probably find a load of coins from uh, through the ages. And as you can see, what people have done, they actually put money into the tree. And I think what that has done over the years is uh, it's actually killed the tree. This one here, the main part. It's a very windy day. So, this is the mill without a stream. There's no mill stream. And the story is that. Uh, St. Fecken built a mill here when there was no there was no water here for, for a mill wheel to run. So he summoned the water from a spring to run through here and run the mill. And it's from a, a loch or a lake, Loch Lean. It's about a mile away. It's on the other side of that mountain. And St. Fecken uh, commanded the water to flow here and there's a slight little pond here. When you're standing here, it appears that the stream actually is running uphill. It actually looks like it. When you stand here, the hill goes that way and the stream is flowing uphill. And maybe it's a it's an illusion, but it really does look like the stream flows uphill. So that's one of the seven wonders of both.